you'll see your quality of life change because you put yourself out there and you just went into the known or unknown. Some hey my guys, welcome aboard the Just Tie Now ship with your Captain Naga. Today, I'm out here with this beautiful view. Very lovely. I'm gonna give you a second to tie on this view. Woo! All right, now we back in it. <laughs> Today I have 10 ways, five plus five ways to ruin your life. These are just my thoughts. Let's tie. First way I have, what are you eating? What are you eating on a daily basis? Is it a lot of junk food? Is it food that when you think about it, you have a second thought and you have to fight that thought? Like, oh, I want this Snickers. And then as soon as you think that thought, but, and then you just continue with the but thought and keep going with it. And that war is won before you even begin and the Snickers in your hand and now you're eating it and all this other good stuff. What are you eating? We have to make sure that we're taking care of our bodies. We can ruin our lives by eating the wrong things. They're putting dyes in the food, a lot of hormones and things that interact with our body's chemistry in such a horrible way that you can get cancer, diabetes, you can get just drop dead, and you can, everything, anything can just happen, you know? Just tying. <laughs> but when we start eating the fruits and the vegetables and making sure like I make sure I get maca powder in it. Thank you, Infinite Waters. I make sure I get my maca powder in so I get my protein. Um, make sure you build yourself up and you will do a little better. Your life won't be ruined. You'll start feeling better, having brighter thoughts. Second way I got for you. Number two, what are you doing what you want to do? What are you doing for a living? Is your nine to five not satisfied? You and you? Are you like, man, I gotta go to work another day? Is you like feel unmotivated, but you still just living the life? It's like, hey man, you have making ends just meet. And you just, what are you doing? Second way I have for you to ruin your life is to not be doing what you want to do? Live in somebody else's life. When we live somebody else's life, we don't, we're not as happy. We feel joy, feel sparks of joy and happy moments. But then those past, those moments just fly by like this plane. Look, let's see if we can get this. I wonder what he's talking about, just flying over there. Huh. That brings me to... That brings me to my third way to ruin your life. Are you stuck in your problems? Do you... Are you not a pilot? The way to ruin your life is to not know that you was born to fly. We're all pilots. Shout out to Jet Life. Currency. We are always supposed to be taking off, going somewhere. We're never supposed to be stuck where we are. Third way to ruin your life is to not fly. When you're not flying, you're probably dying. <laughs> Fourth way I have for you to ruin your life. Are you not a loving person? Do you not express yourself in situations where you know you should have? Do you continue living that life of just using one word answers like, all right, or yeah, I'm chilling. There's, that's a way to ruin your life. That's the fourth way to ruin your life. That's when we're not expressing ourselves fully. Like when you're around your friends and best buddies, that's the way we should be with the world. We shouldn't be all shuttered in and closed-minded around anybody. We should tell the ones that we love that we love them. 
when the time is there, when they're in our face, not just when we're in our room thinking alone in our thoughts, but when there's when the moment's all hyphened up, jump in that circle and do your little dance too. Everybody dancing. <laughs> all right, the fifth way I have for you just tires to ruin your life is to <clears throat> not sorry, a little dry throat. Is to not meditate. Is to not recall everything that happened for the day. At least. When we're not thinking about what happened for the day from an objective point of view and not from so personal. It's our feelings. We're in our feelings. But we're we just know that we're just feeling that for the moment so we're able to comprehend what was really going on and when did this feeling come up that made this thought happen like that's my version of meditation you don't have to really sit there and empty your mind and stare at a brick wall but recall events and bring yourself there and relive it and see what you see what you did and see that and if it was joyous moments, relive all those joyous moments. Bring it bring it here now so that you can carry it with you throughout the rest of your day. Or if you meditate at the end of the day, just release every tension that you was experienced throughout the day. That's the fifth way I have for you to not to, for you to ruin your life is to not meditate. The sixth way that I have for you to not ruin your life. I mean, well, for you to ruin your life, I remember the track I'm on, is are you not stretching? If you're not stretching, you're ruining your life. There's, are, have you ever seen a contortionist? Like they can bend their neck and do all types of weird things. We're all, we are born with the same bodies. Now I know some of y'all are going to say, some people are double jointed and everything, blah, blah, blah. But when you look at people that's been really practicing yoga for years, they would just say it just was everyday stretching and just literally just stretching for daily or at least three, four times a week. And you will be so surprised about what you can do. And the more our body is flexible, the less tension that we feel in our everyday bodies, the less tension that we will feel in our everyday lives. We'll be able to just flex on everything and life will be astounding. And that brings us into like the more creative feminine energy. When you're able to like really flex yourself, you're able to flex your mind. Your mind is able to catch on to new ideas. And when it's combined with the male thoughts, you're able to birth new ideas into this reality and birth new ideas well not birth but birth when it comes to here when it births into your mind like burst of thought like psh, 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 fireworks and stuff <laughs> that's the seventh way that's the sixth way that I have for you to ruin your life the seventh way I have for you to ruin your life is to not feel happy don't feel happy when you don't feel happy you're ruining your life and it doesn't matter what situation it really is for real for real baddest thing can happen but if you don't feel happy it's gonna ruin your life plain and simple When we are really tying about the seventh, the seventh way to ruin your life, happiness conquers everything. When you're laughing, maybe like imagine people, I've seen people break their legs and stuff or on skateboards and break their arms. Some people freak out. And I've seen some people just start laughing hysterically. And they didn't feel much pain because they were so happy. And happy may not be the exact term to use, 
but they were connected with something other than the pain that their body was trying to say that they were experiencing at the moment. Just time. <laughs> now I have the eighth way for you tires to ruin your life. Are you getting out in nature? Or are you stuck in a house? Is your nine to five, have you stuck in a building all day? And then you go back to your house. Then you go to the gas station, back to your house, the grocery store, back to your house, to your friend's house, your aunt's house, then back to your house. Are you stuck in a box? Or are you living in an open view as such? Our bodies were meant to be free. Our spirits was meant to be free. Our spirits are free. And by staying in a box, you're holding yourself in. You're stopping yourself by keeping yourself away from yourself. Just how. <laughs> this eighth way to ruin your life is so fascinating to me because it's so simple, but it does require dedication. But once you get into the habit or I would say like your second time, maybe first time. You'll see your quality of life change because you put yourself out there and you just went into the known or unknown. Sometimes we know the trail, sometimes we take other trails. But when we taking in all the vitamin D from the sun, we're fighting away cancers, we're washing our body anew, we're getting the necessities that we need as beings of the earth. The air is different. The feeling is overall awesome. And you feel more connected because you see beautiful things that you would wish to project yourself in to in the first place. Like when you see a tree, like, oh, wow, beautiful tree, beautiful view. You are that view. If you're stuck in the house, you can be like, all right, I've seen all this stuff. It's not, you're looking at stuff, probably sun on the floor, or sun on the wall that's been there. You really attach yourself to it, but not really, because it's something that's not really that spectacular. That's another story. That's going to lead me straight in to my ninth way to ruin your life. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. How's your... If you are in the house, because we do have to sleep in these places and eat in these places, you know, you can eat outdoors. The ninth way to ruin your life is to not have good feng shui in your house. Let's start off with the corners. Like I was saying, we live in boxes. They have straight edges, straight lines. That's a lot of masculine directing energy, all just trying to go places. If you add curves to your corners of your house, the energy is able to flow and able to move around. So if you have, if you inject in love and energy and project in all this peace and God stuff into your house, it will be able to circulate and keep going instead of hitting a corner and just dissipating. Think of like a racetrack. Just tie. Just think about this. And we have some plants in your house. Like have, I like to have plants hanging from the ceilings or random plant in the corners to breathe in all that carbon dioxide as well and bring out some new oxygen. And the plants are like friends. They are friends. Plants are happy friends. And they like, and when you build them and put them in your space, they're making, they're contributing to the overall happiness of your place. <laughs> Just talk. Sounds amazing. It is amazing. Practice it. Or you'll ruin your life. <laughs> the tenth and final way. The five plus five way I have for you to ruin your life is to not seek knowledge for yourself. When you're not seeking out your own knowledge, you get duped. You get tricked. You get bamboozled. You get scammed. You it, like the Nigerian prince enter into your house, <laughs> but for real, 
when we're not going out reading reading our own books on subjects that we really love to tie about expanding our own knowledge and not just taking in idea after idea from the television television is really telling your vision what to say and what to do and it's telling your vision what the what reality is because reality is malleable and it can always change but when you keep taking in the same information or information is bad your reality your flow your vibration is going to exist on that and therefore your reality is going to look like that when you look out it's not going to be happy it's not going to be joyous so if you ruin your life by not seeking out your own knowledge you're trapped take me for example i've always been going out reading books looking at internet sites comparing different internet sites and i've learned how to really carve carve my own lane i took this from this person took this from that person saw that that person was way too out there way too far out and he had too much ego injected into it it's so many mistrips because everybody is trying to relate with their feeling but there's a lot of people that's also out there to just con you and then there's some people out there really have good intentions but they're just your heart of hearts will tell you when something that they said is like um yeah i'm gonna just leave that alone you don't have to hate them you don't have to discourage them but just do your own thing just tie for yourself and that's all i have for you today it's a beautiful day i'm so happy that you took the time to listen to my 10 ways to ruin your life hope that you don't follow those ways and that you enjoy this view if you like this video please leave two thumbs up and subscribe please thank you to all of everyone that has been subscribing so far where it's, it's gaining way faster than i thought it would be at this moment in time but it's really fun and i'm having so much fun also support us on patreon i vamped it up the reward systems and everything going every day daily and i cannot do this without you so i'll leave you with this question we all tie but do we really tie i don't know dude sometimes i don't know till then enjoy this view <laughs> you'll see your quality of life change because you put yourself out there and you just went into the known or unknown